what is going on everybody my name is poke drago and welcome back to another video now in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to tune your bmw i know there's a lot of videos pretty much saying how to do it but there are certain people that on my channel who don't know how to do it and they would like to know how i tuned mine so that then being said let me go ahead and show you guys and let's get into it so currently right now you guys we are on pro tuning freaks website where it has all the different tunes we have one for s5 we have one for the toyota supra we have so many different kinds depending on your bmw now the one that you're gonna want if you have an n55 is this one right here it says right here here uh, boot mode 3 n55 and it shows you the different ones that the n55 works on so then you what you then do is add the cart and then you pretty much then go ahead and buy your first light system. Now let's say for example, you've already bought it, but let's say you had some new stuff done to the car, you wanna to go to stage two or stage one, or, or go back down to stage one, but you can't. But you don't want to buy this right here again. You don't wanna buy this one. You actually have to go all the way down, go back up a little bit, and then you see right here, OTS ma map bundle. Now, in reality, it's not really a bundle. What you would actually do is that this right here will allow you to pretty much go to a new map if you wanted to. So then you'll add that one to cart if you want to have like a if you want to have both stage one and stage two at your fingertips. Now I already have my OT, my OTS map, but what you'll end up happening is. You'll go through the whole transaction process and then they will send you an email stating, hey, this is your this is your code right here. So that way you can then go into the boot mode three's um, actual tuning website. And with that being said, let's go to my car and we're gonna bring this computer and I'm gonna show you guys what else you need in order to properly tune your car. All right, everybody. So we're currently in the garage right now. And what you need in order to tune your BMW is an OBD2 port to internet port so as you can see obd2 port or obd on this side and ethernet on here as well so what this pretty much means is that you're going to need a computer that has an ethernet port and chances are a lot of you guys probably won't have a computer that actually still has an ethernet port because computers using ethernet ports were back eonders like it was back a little bit before computers still had them now there are still some computers that are sold with them but if your computer that you have though doesn't have it then you can need to get an, um, an adapter so for me i actually have one you can get one for just usb or ethernet to usb but i have one that's us um ethernet to usb c so so that way it can connect properly to my computer so what you then do is take the Ethernet port, connect it to there. So now, you have, so now this connection is properly secure. And now you take your OBD2 port or OBD2 um, cable, and then you plug it in to your OBD2 port. So let me go ahead and do that. Just to show you guys, it is currently plugged in to my OBD2 port. So now that's pretty much set and ready to go all right everybody so now here's the new website you also have to go to as well to actually start tuning your car um, I'm gonna have all the pretty much URLs in the description down below for you guys to be able to find but pretty much at this point this is the only website you guys are gonna be um, worrying about so pretty much what you're gonna have to do is that that when you get to this website you're gonna have to make a new account if you don't already have one when I reduce, let me go ahead and log in. I'm gonna move you off to the side in order for you guys not to see my emails. All right. Now at this point, you guys are gonna probably you won't you guys won't have like your car saved onto here. So you guys are gonna to need to add and save your your car, which you can then which then leads you back to your email. Put the code that you got from Pro Tuning Freaks here, and then now it's gonna ask you for the obd agent which i'm going to put that link in the description down below but but right here is pretty much where you're going to need to download it but for me i, I have mine right here so 
Another thing is, you guys, is that once you plug in the car for the very first time and you actually let the computer do, do its thing, it's actually going to save your stock map, aka your stock configuration. So that way, if something goes wrong, you can flash it back and configure and see what's wrong with your car. And maybe there's like a setting that you maybe pushed on accident or maybe one of your tuners probably accidentally pushed a button that they should not have done and well now your car is starting to throw codes left and right so for people wondering will this save my stock you know map yes it, it will boom so now we have now it says obd connected so everything's good you don't have to worry about pretty much the agent the agent is just going to be running in the background to make sure everything is all said and done and if you have any errors you can refer back to the agent now here's where things get a little complicated and you got to be really mindful of what you're doing so you have all these things right here and i'm not going to go through everything because i want to get to the meat and potatoes but i'll go through things pretty quickly you have your vehicle information right there you have your dashboard that pretty much is right here in case you want to do some um some data logging you have your data logs right there so the save ones diagnostics if you have any problems like you, you want to turn off your trouble codes if you want to open and close your valves you turn on the burbles i mean i mean it's relatively simple and it's really cool as well so there, that's that you also got got right here obd agent that's why i was just telling you that agent that's just chilling in the background now here's where things get fun i'm gonna skip over my maps real quick ots maps or off the shelf maps are pretty much where you're going to be spending most of your time and once the car actually registers what car you actually have it will actually pop up every one of the off the shelf maps that you can be looking for so now at this point what with the code that you just bought you're gonna only have one pretty much code and one um ability to get one of these free off the shelf maps so what you then do is you look at the description right here and you look at pretty much right here for example stage one 93 octane or let's say you have a lot of modifications already and you want to go straight to stage two that's cool so let's see here you got stage two two 91 91 91 let's say you want to do stage one right here or excuse me stage two right here and but look you need a high flow down pipes and a front matter inner cooler well if you don't have that you know not to go to stage two you know that you're gonna have to go to stage one for right now like me for example so for me i'm gonna go to stage 193 octane and the octane is pretty much the type of gas that you're able to get so if you're able to get stage um excuse me if you're able to get 91 octane more often then go to 91 octane if you're able to get 93 octane more often then go to 93. so for me i'm gonna go to 93 and and right here you see this big red one right here get tuned good tune it's gonna say do you want to acquire this tune and then boom 93 octane acquired successfully so now i actually have these two right here however however we're not going to worry about this one right here you guys because that's the one i just got this is the one that we're going to be doing and as as i tell you right there you have your stock tune right here now as you guys also know my car is already tuned, but I'm gonna turn off the camera right now and, to sh uh, and I'm gonna flash the car back to a stock um, tune in order to show you guys what happens when you tune your car. Now, when, as I'm actually tuning this car back to stock, what is actually really cool is that this program is actually also relocking the DME. And so pretty much what this means is that you won't have to co open, try to go find your DME. It will pretty much communicate with the DME through your obd2 port so so that's absolutely amazing so that way you don't have to worry about breaking anything even more expensive as long as you guys just pretty much follow the steps i'm going to be showing you guys you guys are going to be fine and you guys might be wondering wait a minute why is your seatbelt on 
that's actually one of the requirements and i will get to that when we actually tune the dm2 with the stage one tune all right everybody so now let's say you're ready to tune you got everything plugged up everything's working now we're gonna go to your stage one or stage two whichever you're doing so we're gonna go to my stage one and right here it will tell you pretty much everything you need to know about your stage one right here over here you have your config and this right here will actually allow you to configure your burbles and pretty much other cool things with your tune so if you have your let's say your catalytic converter right here if you have no cats you can pretty much disable that so that way that since it doesn't activate you, you can turn off your speed limiter you, there's a lot of things you can do, do with this so what we're not going to do let's go back to map details and now you guys let's actually tune this car and the cool part about it is that I have a stopwatch right here and we're pretty much going to time. The moment I hit flash and press here to flash now, I'm gonna hit the timer to see how long it actually takes for this to reopen and re-unlock um, my DME and do the whole tuning process. So this is another thing. You go, you're probably gonna need a battery charger so if your car typically dies pretty frequently you're going to need to hook this car your car up to a battery charger you need to turn off your headlights and plug the driver's side seatbelt in so that's the reason why that i'm currently strapped in but you don't actually have to wear it you can just place it behind you if you don't want to wear it i don't mind wearing it so that being said then let's hit flash and now let's also hit boom so now we're going to see how long this takes to give you guys an accurate um, reputation. And, I'm all, and I'll be right back when anything else happens. Alright, so it's probably like, oh, it's probably like 20 stuff, like it was probably like 20 seconds in and I'm already receiving faults. But the cool part about it is that as the tuning process goes on, it will actually fix all these faults that you guys are seeing right now. So currently right now, there's like eight faults with the car, but don't worry, don't panic. If you see them, these will be cleared out once the tune is finished. It will automatically do it, and it will make sure that you don't have any codes with your vehicle. And the cool part about it is that new for, for I don't know what when everyone else uploaded their videos, but as I'm recording this, it is currently 8 12 2020 this right here is uh, is the bar they used to have like a bar that's like uh, up here but now they actually have a percentage right here to let you guys know how long the um you have to wait until the tuna is finished so right now we're currently a minute and 27 seconds in so i'll be right back when anything else happens all right everybody we're back finishing up now, as you guys can also tell, it is now pretty much clearing out all the codes that pretty much now the car has. And so far, it is four minutes in, clearing primary codes in vehicle ECU. Go ahead and head and get ready to hit the pause button. We still got three codes left. One code remaining. Actually, no, no code remaining. And boom. So, four minutes and 32 seconds for this program to be able to unlock the DME and then also tune the car as well. So, now what you can do, well, what you have to do is wait five seconds and turn off the car i typically wait 20 just to make sure you guys might say that might be overdoing it but I, it's just a side of precaution so now i waited my 20 seconds turn off the car and as you guys could tell no codes nothing we're all good so let me go ahead and open the garage and i will start the car up now you guys 
as, as a final step, you don't need to have your computer pretty much plugged in unless you're about to do some data logging. And in which case, I recommend there's another product on the website. I'll put a picture of it like right here. Pretty much that's what you're gonna need in order to pretty much safely data log your vehicle and then put get like a little thing that you can pretty much attach your phone to so that way you can data log properly and safely while having a computer just in your car because that is a little awkward and a little weird unless you're going for the whole, whole like manufactured like vibe of actually having an actual computer and not your phone then in which case more power to you. But you now you don't need to have a computer plugged in anymore so what i typically do is i will unplug the c port first or usb port whichever then i unplug then i'll unplug the obd2 the obd and now we can take this vehicle out for a drive but that, that's pretty much how you tune your BMW by yourself, no DME required, no cutting, no doing anything like that. That it's all controlled via OBD2 port. I want to give a huge special thank you to Pro Tuning Freaks. I messaged them on Instagram and I said, hey, I'm going to be doing a video on how to do it. And they were like, cool beans, can't wait to see it. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys share the video out with everybody. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody, and have a great day. Peace out.